morning, ladies and gentlemen. Um, thank you to the Claybrick Association for letting me have this time to speak to you this morning. Um, just to give you an update, uh, I think first of all we must thank uh, Lancliffe Bricks for being the pioneer of the technology, the VSPK. Um, my company has taken this now a stage further. Uh, we built 18 kilns at, at Lancliffe. And that uh, brought me together with a few other brickmakers, and we've completed now further 24 kilns of this design at Reebok Bricks. And I'm also building another 24 um, at Eston Brick. And I'll come back to Reebok now because obviously it's the basis of the, of the video. But at Eston, we're integrating the RBSBK technology with a, a tunnel dryer, and we're taking the offtake from the BSBKs and we're pushing that back into the dryer and then subsequently reheating as well with a, with a, a, a burner and some uh, biogas, uh, bigas uh, product as well. And this is taking, people have asked me about drying and I think this is the next logical step uh, for being able to provide that. Um, we think that by October, November this year we will be in, in, in full production there on those uh, RVSB case. The contractor there, um, excellent, the work is, is brilliant and um, Peter supplied us with some, some very nice looking bricks so it's going to be a real uh, showcase project there. Now, at Reebok, um, we, we expect it to be around about a 0.85 megajoules per kilo, maybe uh, uh, a little bit less. But what shocked us was his initial fueling that he was using his clamps was quite high, and it was higher than Lancliffe, so obviously he's scaling up. But we're firing now at around about between 0.7 and 0.8 megajoules per kilo. I mean, that's, that's unheard of. Um, it represents a 75% fuel saving today from what he was using in his clamp kilns. And, and I'm, I'm, I'm actually astonished I asked them to go back and recalculate and please do it again because we haven't seen in this technology anything more than around 50% which is obviously very good but 75 is actually shocking. Um, I think Nicky will confirm he, he's, he's less than a hundred bucks a thousand bricks a few. So um, that's really I think stepped the game up and, and I honestly believe that this is, is the most energy efficient technology out there at the moment. Um, I, 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 can't, I can't think of anything else that's coming through. Uh, maybe in Europe there's tunnel kilns that can, that can do around about one. But with carbon tax coming in, the serious issues for you guys is that you're going to get taxed and the government's finding another way to, to extract some more money out of your business. And I think this technology can put you back into the market with a product that is actually going to cost you less to produce than it was before. So from there, um, let me take you through the video. We're explaining um, what we've done at Reebok, uh, explain a little bit about the technology. I'm sure most of you understand exactly how it works. It's, it's just a presentation. Reebok Bricks is one of the largest clay brick manufacturers between Cape Town and Port Elizabeth. Situated on the garden route in the small town of Great Brack, close to Mossel Bay and George. It has been operational for over 40 years with a production capacity of over 4 million bricks per month and employing approximately 120 people. The original brick firing operation was one of clamp kilns. With the recent company purchase in 2014, the board took a decision to invest in expanding and refining the clay brick preparation capability and installing recirculation vertical shaft brick kilns or RVSBK available from Road Design and Consulting. Extruded fresh green bricks are dried under cover and the remainder externally in hack lines. This method of drying provides some protection in the event of inclement weather. The system of building clamps is very energy intensive with respect to machinery, product and personnel required. This type of kiln must be covered whilst being built if the risk of rain is apparent. When firing clamps of this type they are always subject to the elements and therefore actual quality and stock levels are only apparent once the kiln is dehacked. General wastage levels are quite high with broken and under fired product. Additional handling and reuse of this waste 
therefore requires further energy usage. Eki, what drove you to this particular technology for your clay brick firing? Um, definitely the energy saving first of all, uh, second of all saving on waste and the saving on um, an, on the plant. The ability to fire um, a product, or have a product fired within 24 hours. The ability to fire several different products at once without changing your method of firing. And then the cleaner technology being um, able to burn with less fuel, uh, hence having less CO2 emissions. The RVSBK building accommodates 24 kilns, ancillary services and storage capability for continuous 24-hour operation. Dry green bricks are moved into the building to lessen the movement and operation of the forklifts on a continuous basis. Storage is available along both sides for double stacking of green product. A remote controlled overhead crane system is employed to lift the dry green bricks. A steel lifting pallet allows the forklift to load two pallets of green brick. This is then lifted from the ground floor onto the upper working floor. The safety cage prevents any loose bricks from falling during lifting. From this central position, personnel are able to load bricks into kilns on either side. Brick packing patterns are employed to allow the controlled flow of air within the kiln. External fuel in the form of small nuts is carefully measured into buckets and then taken to the kiln being loaded. The coal is specifically placed within the batch to enable even firing and will maintain the heat within the kiln. A stock brick batch is made up of four equally spaced opposed layers. Each batch typically has between 456 to 464 bricks. 14 of these batches are loaded into the kiln at any one time. Provision is made at the top of each batch to insert the support bars when the batch finally reaches the bottom of the kiln. Operational staff are clearly happier to be working in a factory environment. Kiln doors are closed and warm clean air is recirculated from the kiln under the doors. Various clay products can be fired in an RVSBK. Here a batch of maxi bricks is being loaded whereby another pattern is utilised specific to these bricks. The RVSBK operates on a counter current principle. Bricks are mechanically moved down the shaft whilst air is naturally drawn into the shaft at the bottom. This movement of air transfers heat from the fired brick to the firing zone where it is further heated and together with exhaust gases from the fuel transfers its heat energy to the dry green bricks stacked above. Exhaust gases are then removed via a fan and the exhaust duct system. All our gases are um, directed to a centralized chimney system which makes adhering to local admission standards and testing much easier and also much cost efficient. A new RVSBK kiln management system has been developed to allow for more controlled thermocouple monitoring and individual firing characteristics of each kiln. The system is calibrated for each site and provides vital management feedback through internal graphing, temperature averages and specific time variances. If any set parameters are out of design specification, then operational managers are notified immediately via SMS or email. The system provides full 24-hour operation coverage and fallback capability. A centrally positioned hydraulic system provides a means to lift the brick batches to enable a single batch unload of each kiln. Unloading of each batch of fired bricks is achieved by raising the trolley to the underside of the brick batch. The batches are then raised to release the support bars which are then removed by hand. The bricks are lowered until the next support bar layer is apparent and bars are then reinserted. Bricks are lowered to the floor with the support bars holding the fired bricks above. When the bricks have cooled under the shaft, they are removed for unpacking and transportation to the dispatch area. Two separate fans are in operation for each kiln, one recirculation and one exhaust. There is almost a symbiotic relationship between the RVSBK and the steel building, each sharing a common goal. At the bottom of each kiln, fired product is hand sorted according to colour and quality, ready for dispatch. Generous thoroughfare has been provided for movement of forklifts and temporary storage of fired product. What has this quality done now for your, for your business? Just, uh, it's improved my waste to under 1% on firing. 
Uh, it's improved our um, site waste to zero percent at the moment. Wow. Um, it makes it easier for us to sort out the bricks at the bottom because there's hardly any sorting to be done and hardly any any, any problems that can come in. Um, you know, that making the quality to the client much better. The gas ignition system for the RVSBK enables balanced fuel ignition upon startup. The system has enabled kilns to be fired from cold to producing NFX quality bricks in less than 48 hours. Gas burners are inserted in specially drilled access holes within the kiln structure. The gas will ignite the fuel consecutively within each batch and start the firing process. Tell me, is, is this the sound levels that we can expect in an installation like this? That is it. We, uh, the loudest thing here is, uh, is the Lindy Forklift, which is 68 decibels. Well, I mean, that's, that's hardly anything really. Yeah. And all, this is a big change for you as a company. It is, uh, and it's provided a new product line with the potential to take other product through the kilns. Definitely. We can uh, diversify our product and we can uh, enter the market more um, uh, aggressively. You must be very excited for the future of Reebok Bricks. Well, I'm excited for Reebok Bricks and I'm excited, you know, being uh, on the roof for a change. Fantastic. From an energy efficient clay brick project point of view, it's both really exciting and encouraging to see the next VSPK in operation at Reebok Bricks. Road Design has excelled in delivering the next version of the VSPK, the RVSPK which can perform or even outperform some of the other kilns that are available internationally. Uh, Rebook Bricks, we wish them well going forward with the new investment in, in the kiln and I'm sure that they're going to make a success story of it. The 24 RVSBK installation at Reebok Bricks will produce several clay fired products including stock brick, aesthetic face brick, pavers and maxi brick variations. The installation has the capacity to fire any number of bricks from 150,000 to in excess of 4 million per month. Kilns may be brought online to match market demand without any interference with currently firing kilns. A truly bespoke and flexible firing solution for all their clay firing requirements. Okay, I was able to do that without moving my lips and keep my mouth shut for once. Um, not for long. Not for long, no, not always. It's a problem. Um, I think just to reiterate one or two things there. We can bring these kilns online, take them offline, and match market demand. You can change product from order to order in every one of these kilns. They're not, they're not specific to, to one type of brick. We have fired solid bricks, perforated bricks, a paver, um, we've done maxi bricks, monster maxi bricks, which are <laughs> unbelievable. Um, I think something else that's important that's not on the video here is that these are air dried bricks. Now, Nicky told me he had them down to about 3-4%. He was lying to me. They were, some of them were closer to 10%. And typical average is around about 6-7% 6, 6 moisture content in those bricks. So. People said to me, you can't fire above 2% moisture. Well, we are, and we're doing it successfully. So, I was told that this time around, I, I really need to pull something out the back. So, I brought you a surprise today. We have a face brick. Okay. This was fired yesterday. So, we're not only firing plastic products, but we're actually firing a face brick product now in the, in the kilns. It's, it's still warm. <laughs> now, what I must do here is I must say thank you to you guys and thank you to Nikki and Peter for having this belief in the technology. We're going to take this even further. Um, I, I, I think when we've completed here uh, at the end of this year, we'll have a nice presentation to show you how we're bringing kiln cars into the factory and offloading directly off the kiln cars into the VSPK. And I have another project coming up um, in the Western Cape, which we're going to look at robotics 
um, as well as the VSPK. So watch this space. I think there's more to come. Thank you.